Hello and welcome to the MAC weather page for this Thursday, November 15th. And we've got a pretty good storm that's going to be pushing into the area as we uh, get into Friday. And we'll see a chance of rain and thunderstorms uh, late Friday, but especially for Friday evening into uh, Saturday morning. And I think that's when the bulk of the rainfall will uh, occur as well. And we could see about five tenths to as much as an inch of rain across the area, maybe even some localized more. And again, that should end up giving us a storm total of about uh, 1.0 to 1.4 inches of rain uh, for the Wednesday to Sunday time period. And again, any showers or flurries this morning will dissipate or move out of the area as that storm pulls off to the east. And then maybe some afternoon sunshine, windy conditions, and then that rain and thunderstorm will move into the area Friday night into Saturday. And again, additional five tenths to nine tenths plus inches of rain. Then we'll turn to some snow showers uh, as we get into later Saturday night into Sunday morning. And we could see winds gust to 40 to 45 miles per hour. Would not be surprised to see at least the lake shore, if not maybe a couple of counties inland, go under a wind advisory uh, at some point here during the storm. And if we look at, again, storm totals, 1.4, to 1.4. So far uh, with this uh, first phase of this uh, system that we were talking about, our 13th station average is at 4,400ths of an inch. So we need about 5,600ths to reach the uh, minimal amount. And if we look at the uh, climate data for today, our normal high is 47 degrees, our normal low is 29. And you can see so far for the month of November, minus 0 0.6 degrees, a little cooler than normal. Yesterday's high was 45, we had a low of 39. And here in Brokenage, we had 6,300, so just about two thirds of an inch of rainfall. And since midnight, just a few uh, trace amounts of uh, precipitation through the area, but nothing significant. And if we look at the current temperatures out there this morning, you see temperatures mainly in the uh, low to mid 30s, even some upper 30s, but pretty consistent with the uh, cloud cover and the wind that's out there. And as far as the storm totals, you can see Nuego leading the way at uh, 83 hundredths of an inch, and then Breckenridge at 63 hundredths of an inch, but everybody picking up appreciable rainfall from the first part of this five day, a uh, couple of systems we're talking about. And again, you can follow the progress of my forecast. Again, I need to be uh, in that, uh, uh, well, it should have been right there, 1.0 to uh, 1.6, and we're going to have to change some of these graphics, all right? But again, we're at 44 hundredths of an inch, and you can see how that pans out in the uh, bar charts as, as far as leading the way with uh, 83 hundredths as Nuevo. And if we look at the conditions around the state, you can see temperatures mainly in the 30s across the entire state, with 20s once you get back into the uh, western half of the UP. And as far as the low level wind circulation, you can clearly see where that low pressure system is. Now north winds, you can see there's probably some lake effect occurring uh, off Lake Superior and perhaps across the uh, northwestern portions of lower Michigan as well. And if we look at the radar, you can see those areas along with, uh, we'll see some development of some lake effect off Lake Erie as well. But again, right now, some pretty good uh, rain and snow showers occurring in northwest lower Michigan. As far as the weather map, the low pressure system again will move off to the east. The cold front will be well off to the east and just a little bit of wraparound snow flurries of rain and mixed uh, snow occurring in some areas this morning. And again, we're gonna watch this system combined with uh, some energy from the northwest and that's what's gonna be our storm as we get into the weekend. And by tomorrow, that uh, storm system's trying to get its act together, but already areas of showers and thunderstorms out ahead of a warm front will be moving into southwest and south central lower Michigan much of the MAC area has a good chance of picking up showers and thunderstorms. And again, this precipitation will be moving in mainly for later tomorrow night into the day on Saturday. And by Saturday morning, that low pressure system now centered across northern Illinois. And again, that system will bring showers and thunderstorms to far southern lower Michigan, the rain further north. And once you get back into the cold air up into the UP, a little bit of snow. But again, no big deal. This, uh, any heavy snow, as you can see, is going to be well off into portions of Ontario and Quebec where they may pick up quite a bit of snowfall there. As far as precipitation here, over the next seven days, you can see uh, the eastern portions of the area likely to pick up the heaviest amounts, ranging anywhere from about a half inch across the far western areas to possibly as much as an inch and a quarter across eastern lower Michigan. And again, so we got another pretty good batch of rainfall be coming into the area. So the forecast today, partly sunny with clouds, especially in the afternoon, we may see a few more peaks of sunshine. And then that rain moves in late in the day with thunderstorms lasting into Saturday morning and then showers eventually turning over to some snow showers by Saturday night. And you can see on Wednesday, or on Friday rather, our high temperature is 43 and during the nighttime our temperatures will hold steady and highs uh, 
as we get into Saturday morning around 48, but they'll fall all day long down into the 30s with a couple of chilly days, maybe a couple leftover snow showers on Sunday morning. They, and as far as weather watch, there's nothing out there to speak of. We do have some uh, lake shore uh, flood advisories. We have gale warnings and gale watches posted for the current storm and for the storm coming up here over the weekend. Thanks for stopping by and have yourself a great day and 73s to all.